more than for just relieving muscles after a tough workout or increasing flexibility, stretching has been shown to help strengthen the muscles too. In fact, studies have shown that exercisers who add a couple of extra stretch sessions into their week are three times as strong as those who don't add the stretching. It's all about, you know, it's, it's a similar concept, you know, when you're, when you're curling a weight, you're making little teeny tears in your muscles, and then as it's repairing itself, it's going to repair itself stronger, and, and that's how you build muscles. And it's the same thing for stretching. When you're stretching, when you feel that pain, you know, that tinge, that, oh, now I'm in the stretch, you're actually making teeny, teeny little tears. And those tears are repairing themselves and healing stronger. So that's why stretching is so important. But you really only want to stretch warm muscles. So it, you know, do a little bit of a, of a workout before, five minutes. If you're in bed, do foot warmers um, just to get your blood pumping a little to warm those muscles. Because think about muscle, it's like taffy, okay? So if you're stretching cold taffy and you, you're going to break it, right? But if you warm that taffy up first in your hands, you can stretch it until it's like spaghetti. So that's how you should think of your muscles. So this is my quickie workout in bed with stretching, in particular yin yoga. Yin yoga is a type of yoga that focuses on holding poses as opposed to the movement. It stretches the connective tissues around the joints. And people are sometimes nervous about that, but gentle connective tissue stretching around the joints is said to actually be very beneficial because again, you're strengthening that tissue because as it heals, it heals to be stronger. So these yin yoga poses are not just for the benefit of stretching. They also make you sweat. You're holding poses that, that, are, that are tough, um, even though they're stretches. And you might find that you're actually sweating after this workout. <laughs> but they're also purpose-driven. They're poses with purpose. So more than giving you the muscle stretch or relieving your bones, you're also going to have other benefits that I'll tell you about. So the first is butterfly. So you're gonna sit with your feet together in front of you with sort of a diamond shape in your thighs, and you're just going to bend forward at the, hip, the hips. Just release completely down. <sighs> It opens the hips, it opens the spine, relieves the neck. You can feel just the stretching of between every single spinal bone. You're gonna hold this pose for three to five minutes. And in that time, you're gonna start to feel that you're releasing a little more and a little more. Let your body dictate the move. Don't push it. You know, let gravity push you down and then your body fall as it gets more comfortable in the pose. So. You're gonna hold. Really try and completely let go. More than the muscles. Butterfly is also said to help cleanse the kidney and it helps with urinary tract infections. So it also is said to help regulate periods. The next is happy baby. So you're gonna lay on your back Put your feet up in the air with some space between your legs and you're gonna reach up and grab your toes and pull down. So more than a great stretch that helps to open up the hips, and the, it also is an upper body strengthener because I'm actually pulling. So I'm feeling this in my arms. I'm also engaging my core and I feel it in my chest. You're gonna hold happy baby for three to five minutes and you will also experience other side effects of cleansing of the kidneys again and the liver. So it's a great detoxing pose. Then is swan. So for swan, oh, I, I used to be so flexible. You get out of practice and just almost immediately, I swear, you tighten up. Huh. So swan, you're gonna keep your back leg straight as you can, your front leg is bent in front of you. 
You want to try and not fall over. So you want to, if you're using one hand to push you up, that's okay. You're going to start to feel a release in your hips, also your quads, the front of your thighs. It's also said to help with sexual potency. Now, this one you're only going to hold for between one and three minutes. And the reason is because it's a seated position. It's a stronger position. It's a, it's a yang position as opposed to a yin position. And uh, most poses in yin yoga are more about releasing and letting go as opposed to being strong like swan. So you don't want to do this one for too long, but it's a really good one. So then you're going to switch and do the other side. Then is caterpillar. Caterpillar is great for relieving the spine. So you're just going to place your feet in front of you. <sighs> Inhale up and exhale, releasing down. You want to try and keep your knees straight. You're going to feel it in your back and your spine, your neck, your hamstrings all along the back of your legs. It's, it feels really good, especially if you're a little bit stiff. It also helps with digestion, stimulates again the kidneys, and helps with sexual stimulation. So you're gonna hold caterpillar for three to five minutes. Then you're gonna do lying twist. So, you're gonna lay back, bend both knees in one direction, and then you're gonna twist your torso the other direction. If you wanna really do it, you can twist the top, but it's not necessary. You're gonna feel it not only open up your spine because you're helping, you're really rotating here. You know, you're twisting your hips to one direction and your torso to the other side. So your whole abdominal area is twisting there. It helps to cleanse because you're sort of like squeezing out your internal organs. It's a great detoxifier. It also helps with equilibrium and uh, balancing the nervous system. So it helps to minimize anxiety. You're gonna hold it for three to five minutes and then you're gonna switch sides and twist the other way. Then is deer, which is similar to swan, but both legs are bent. It's a little hard to stay upright if your hips aren't so open. So you, again, you can use one hand to support you and you're gonna feel this opening up. If you just let go, you can breathe into these poses and let your hips focus on letting your hips let go because we hold so much tension in our hips. And actually people say that we also hold anger in our hips, so who knows. But hold this pose for three to five minutes. You're also gonna experience improved digestion. It helps to relieve gas and the swelling in the legs for pregnant women. Then switch and do three to five minutes on the other side too. And finally is dragonfly. So, you're gonna spread your legs and sit up straight so your spine is straight and then you're just gonna bend down as far as you can go. If you can only bend like this, that's okay. It's something and it's a starting place. You're gonna hold it for three to five minutes. It helps to open up the hips and the thighs, the quads and the hamstrings. It also helps the knees because you're, you're opening them up in a way that you normally don't. So it's giving space in the knees. It feels really good. My knees have been hurting, so this feels very good. It also helps to stimulate the ovaries. So you're just gonna hold dragonfly It's an intense one. And uh, that is your quickie workout in bed, focusing on stretching and yin yoga.